Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. The Great Reset, that's what they are talking about. That's what this year is all about, apparently. Um, we're talking about the Great Reset today on the report from Tiger Mountain. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to talk uh, 2020 and the crisis as we're still in the middle of it and Victoria is still under lockdown. I'm recording these podcasts uh, from lockdown. Um, I'm not allowed to go five kilometres from my house. So it's been a time of contemplation and thinking and all that kind of stuff, um, which, you know, hasn't all been bad. I mean, obviously, um, you know, I would much prefer things were different, but it is interesting to have this time uh, of quiet um, contemplation and, and thinking. And, you know, I can start reading all these great philosophy books here. I've got books here by Martin Heidegger and behind me is here books by Nietzsche and Jung. And, you know, I, I've been getting stuck into my philosophy uh, books again, which is a great thing. Always a good thing to... Um, have more time to, um, you know, contemplate what's going on, contemplate philosophy and the bigger issues. Um, so we're in a time, um, you know, I mean, there's all this talk, there's all this kind of new language at the moment in relation to the COVID crisis, isn't there? There's a lot of talk of uh, the new normal, or as I call it, the new abnormal. Um, and there's another one, is the great reset. And, you know, you see uh, around, the, around the world um, at this time when uh, Western economies have essentially either slowed or even been shut down completely, um, you have seen a definite improvement in some aspects of the environment. Um, you know, you see things like dolphins, uh, clear clear water in, in Venice and dolphins swimming in Venice. And, um, you know, you see uh, kangaroos bouncing through the streets of um, Australian cities that are basically deserted. Um, you know, it's almost like nature is beginning to reclaim our cities that are uh, often now virtually shut down. Um, you know, I mean... Um, uh, that's interesting, uh, and you could see from somebody who was a radical environmentalist, they would probably find that almost fantastic. Um, that's something I wanted to point out today. It's very interesting the way that the climate change agenda essentially wanted to slowly shut down Western economies, um, uh, I think over 10 or 20 years, to slow uh, this global warming uh, hoax that they are propagating. Um, but it seems with COVID-19 that this is like the global warming agenda on... Um, well, absolutely on steroids. Um, you know, I mean, it seems that it's really totally shut down Western economies to the point where, um, particularly in Victoria right now, they're non-existent. Melbourne right now is completely deserted, as far as I can see, outside a few people who live there in, in some of the, uh, I guess, um, you know, high-rise buildings in the city. So, you know, I mean, this is a, this is a, a kind of great reset. And there's a lot of talk about, you know, this crisis could go on for years. I mean, there's incredible videos um, you should watch by Alan Jones, where he examines the, the amount of people who, who die from COVID, the amount of cases versus the economic damage that it's causing. I mean, it's absolutely extraordinary what we're doing to our own countries. I mean, I think it's quite clear by now that the effects of the lockdowns um, are going to be far worse than, um, uh, you know, the the effects of um, of COVID if we were just to let it run free. Obviously, Sweden is is um, is 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 some is a country that this let it sort of happen, and they had pretty good results, and it's now basically faded away from that country. And I'll talk about that in another video. But this idea of the Great Reset, this is a time I think the cabal wants to use this as a time to basically completely change our society, and in extent, I think this is this is happening, but. I think what's interesting is it doesn't have to happen in the way that the cabal are planning. We can flip this. We can use this time um, to move things not in the direction the cabal wants to move them, but back in the direction we want to move them. So this idea of a great reset, I think we can flip it on the new right. We can use this time you know, to propagate our own revolutionary ideas and to uh, essentially have a kind of new right revolution um, that will pro be propagated over the next 10 years, say, after all this, um, once, uh, and to hopefully remedy uh, many of the problems in the world that seem to me to be emanating from um, this desire uh, for a new world order, the, the, the mischief of the globalist cabal, Epstein, Weinstein, all these um, people, and uh, all this kind of great um, Luciferian mischief we see going on. So I think this is a really great time and very important time for humanity. And that, you know, this, uh, my idea is let's reset the Great Reset. You know, the idea of a Great Reset is not necessarily a bad thing. We on the new right can use this opportunity and we can, we can mobilize and we can um, spread our ideas because they are much stronger than the ideas of the globalists. They are much more popular, they are populist. And 
and I believe that we can retake our countries, um, we can um, re-secure them, we can um, secure the future for our people, our cultures, and our civilizations into the future if we really use this opportunity so that when we come out of it, when COVID finally fades away, that we re really truly begin to propagate our own politics and begin to retake our nations. So that's what I wanted to talk about today on the report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you for listening. Reset the Great Reset.